Hey guys, thank you for watching. I'm so excited to film this video today because I have here a little cute sparkly bag from Ulta and it's filled with a bunch of goodies. So we are going to try out a bunch of Ulta products today. I haven't really tried their Ulta makeup brand so I just want to see how, like, how well their products are and if they're really worth going back and buying more, trying out new of their products. So... Let's get started. So let's see, let's just dump everything out. In this bag, we basically have a bunch of things to create a simple makeup look. So I'm gonna use every single product and we will see how it goes. Right now, I'm not wearing foundation. I didn't put on any moisturizer and nothing. So it's really a bare face today. We're really just gonna use the products that come in the bag nothing else so first let's see I'm gonna go in with this brow tint in medium I haven't used a brow tint in such a long time I love them though so I highly doubt that this is my color but you know we're just using it for the effect if it even is giving an effect I don't know guys hmm hmm you know this is not really working <laughs> and I don't know if it's because my brow hairs are darker <sighs> I don't know it's really just shaping my eyebrow hairs this is weird it's more like a gel not a tint for me it's not doing much Okay, so the brows are done. Let's move on. Um, that was kind of a disappointment because I expected, I don't know, to have it filled in more. I don't, I expected more, guys. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so this is a tinted eye primer in satin blush, oil free, fragrance free, Caribbean free. Okay, not bad. I would like to try this out. Ooh. Oh, it has like a rose gold tint to it. You guys can see that. Ooh, I haven't tried out this before. <gasps> That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, guys. It has like, <gasps> do you guys see that? Oh my god, this is a primer? What is going on? Guys, primers are usually clear or you use like a concealer. Ooh, this can just be used alone. This gave my eyes such a pretty shine. Oh, this is so exciting. I love this. Mm. Now we just gotta see if it actually works as a primer, guys, because you know, it can look good, but it has to work. I already feel it like drying down and getting tacky, so. Let's move on to eyeshadow. This is so exciting. The bag also came with a little eyeshadow brush. I like it because it's a nice flat packer brush. And it also came with this little tiny eyeshadow palette. And yeah, there's really not much to it. It just looks like that. And when you open it, it looks like this. And um, I would appreciate it if there was a little small mirror like even if it was a cheap looking mirror I don't know this already looks like it came from the dollar store I'm not gonna lie I would probably save money and not that I don't know we, we have yet to try dollar store makeup on this channel but I would find the same exact palette at the dollar store so if you're looking for makeup on a budget for this palette yeah this is like dollar store material I would put a mirror here especially this whole bag looks like it's travel friendly so why not have a mirror like here when you're traveling I just feel like that would be best but the colors are really cute they put the names with the colors I appreciate that because I hate it when they put it on the back and then oh my god that's a mess anyway 
came with this little thingy. I don't use those. So I'm gonna create a little cute, simple eyeshadow look. First, let's see. I think I'm gonna just, uh, let's use Petite, just because it's a really creamy shade. And we're just going to pack that on the lid a little bit. Create a base. Or just honestly leave the color there. I love how this eyeshadow primer gave a little tint. I think that's, that's really cute. I have yet to see that from any other makeup brands. I don't know if it's out already. All I know is that Ulta really won me with this eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go take one of my brushes because we need some help here. <laughs> now I'm literally just gonna go back in with the same color but with using my Luxie 205 Tampa Bending Brush. My goodness guys, I've used this so much the label has worn off. We're just gonna go in the same color and just blend that out because I see the tint of the primer is not blending with this color. So this brush is gonna help. <clears throat> And I think to add some fun, hmm, what should we do? I think I'm honestly going to go in with Autumn Spice. That is so cute. These names are so cute. Petite, Plum Plop, Pin Up Girl, What Evs, Autumn Spice, Nutmeg. So we're going to go in with Autumn Spice. And I'm going to use my Luxie 227 Blending Brush. I'm going to go in with Autumn Spice and just tuck that into the outer V. Hmm. So she's not really pigmented. <sighs> Gotta dig in there, girl. Oh boy. Hmm. It does look really cute. I like how it's looking so far, I just really don't like how I had to dip my brush in about 700 times already. Ooh, tad bit annoying. <clears throat> now I'm just going to go back in with my transition brush that we used before just to blend out those edges. And to be honest, this looks really cute on its own simple honestly so effortless and the colors look nice like you could wear this with almost anything really and to finish up the eyes I'm now going in with my NARS number 12 brush it's very good to put some highlight on the eyes and we're gonna go in with hmm, I'm gonna go in with whatevs right here I'm gonna put a little bit on the oh mmm that oh my god that is so stunning I forgot how good eye highlight looks mm. I'm impressed this is really cute to travel with um, yes you can find the same colors in this little cute palette at the dollar store however that's just if you want to put dollar store products on your face and I have nothing to say about that because I um, never tried it, but good luck if you do. Um, I'm gonna stick with my Ulta one. Anyways, I'm glad that this brush works. Really cute eyeshadow brush. I love um, that I'm adding it to my collection because it really is working really nicely. Now we're gonna go in with another little palette that they have. And inside, it's a little bronzer and illuminator, which guys this is exciting because so we're trying out another highlight let's get the highlighting brush and let's see let's do bronze first now I know that in the bag it came also with this brush and this is a blush brush blush brush blush brush however I'm gonna use it to contour and who cares you know who cares same thing This brush is so soft. Don't you just love new brushes? 
This bronzer? I'm liking it. Let's contour the nose. Mm -hmm. I'm so bad at contouring my nose, guys. I really have to learn. But I think for me, I think I do it pretty well. Like for my nose, I know my nose. And I know how I like my nose <laughs> looking. So I think I do a pretty good job and I feel comfortable with my nose. I just feel like I don't do it professionally. Like the YouTubers do like the fine lines and they have their own brushes to blend it out with and I don't know. I don't do that. This contour gave a really nice subtle bronze. <laughs> oh my goodness, why am I putting it away? We didn't even try the highlighter. Crazy. I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Cheek Color Brush. I love um, how this brush is shaped. It's perfect for highlight. And let's just take a little bit because I don't know. This looks really white for me. So let's just see. Hmm. Where are you? Huh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know guys, I'm not impressed. <laughs> this is like a subtle, hey, I tried. I'm here a little bit, like I'm, mm, I don't know. This is a highlight that you like meet the parents with, <laughs> that you like go to work with. Um, yeah, not the type of highlight to, um, try to, like, communicate with an alien or go to space with. Not the type of highlight to be seen, um, any time of the day. Just a little subtle, hey, I'm glowy. Oh, guys, it's like not even there. What? <sighs> Shameful. Shameful. Anyways, the contour is good and the brush is super soft and it works very well. Now, let's see what else do we have. We have lipstick and lip gloss. So we're gonna try both. Mm, matte metallic liquid lipstick. But then we also have a Stay Fierce. No, it's the shade Stay Fierce, but I don't, there's no label on what this is. But basically, we're gonna find out if it's matte or not. So I'm gonna put this on and then wipe it off, and we're gonna try the liquid lipstick because it's a girl. Metallic liquid lipstick. Mm. Oh, this is so buttery. Oh, this is really, huh. Mmm. I, you know, I hate these. And you know why? It's like a lip gloss in a stick form. And I don't like that. I like my lip glosses looking like these, where you can like pucker up and hear that sound. Like, that's a lip gloss sound, you know? That's a lip gloss. But when a lip gloss, like a shiny little thingy, comes in this, I don't like you. I like how you feel, I like how you look, but I feel like it's like tricking me. I don't know. But this is very cute too. It's like a natural color just to enhance what your real color lip is. Uh, mm. I would definitely keep this in my purse though for when I like forget to go out with something. This is very easy to keep on and take off. Mm. And it smells and like feels so good. And it's like a nice shiny nude color. So I am like, I am bothered that it came with the tube, but whatever, it's a really good product. Now let's try on the matte metallic liquid lipstick and has no shade, but it has a label. So the other one didn't have a label, but it had a shade. Oh, mm -mm. okay. Uh oh. Oh my god. 
oh my god, I should not have this on. I really should not have this on. It, it smells like nail polish. And, uh, like nail polish remover. Is it patchy? It feels patchy. <gasps> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> God, oh no, no, no. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I cannot get over how patchy that is. <gasps> Guys. <laughs> oh God. Ah, no. Oh my God, this is a hot. like 70 percent there for me and that extra 30 percent is really bothering me that it's not there it's just it smells like nail polish and it's really um patchy it's not working for me i just feel like around the edge of my lips it's darker than the middle part <laughs> it's a pretty color to say um yeah this is coming off <laughs> um i'm really not impressed i honestly would use that again on my eye on my lid if i ever dare to touch that product again um anything that smells like that should be set on fire because nothing should smell like nail polish remover that is so bad guys um honestly i honestly regret putting that on my mouth really shouldn't have um we have here gel eyeliner i don't know how to use this guys um Hmm, I really don't know how to use this. The last time I've used this, I was in like my rock star preteen stage. I cut my hair in a mohawk. Um, I'll put a picture up on YouTube um, in a very long time of me in a mohawk. I'm not ready to do that now. But I cut my hair in a mohawk and I dyed it a bunch of different colors. I didn't bleach my hair, but I like, what's it called? I did the hair chalk. Every day, I wake, wake up so early before school, putting hair chalk on my hair, trying to pick out a new color. And yeah, that was a style for me, not the time. That was a style for me. And then I would take eyeliner and put it like all in my waterline. So I'm really not trying to do that ever again. But here goes nothing. Highly doubt it's going to look good with this look. But I want to test it out for you guys. Here we go. Oh my god. This eyeshadow look is really cute though. I don't know if I want to mess it up. Oh, that is so black. That's really pigmented. Oh my god. You know, they need more labels. I need to know if this is waterproof. Oh, Jesus. Ah! 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 I forgot how much that tickles. Okay. Hmm. Oh God. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks so weird on me because I haven't seen this on me in years, guys. Wow. God, it makes your eyes look so much smaller than they are. That is so cool. Uh, I want to get off as soon as possible. <laughs> um, that actually worked very well. I wouldn't use that for like any other thing. Uh, maybe like a cheap Halloween makeup look where you need a lot of black eyeliner for like a cat or something. I would use that. Other than that, I don't see how people do wing eyeliners with a pencil like that. Um, your wizard to be honest if you can I think that's only for your waterline personally I need like a felt tip 
or like a brush and a pompade eyeliner but that like does not work for me but yeah it worked pretty good here so if you're looking for a really good black um, we have yet to see if it's waterproof but it looks good so far right now we're gonna move on to our limitless lashes lengthening and volumizing is mascara so right on top the label is already like asking for a lot you know but let's see if it pulls through hmm, I don't know it does nothing and I'm not curling my lashes today guys because my eyeliners my, my eyeliner oh my god <sighs> I'm not curling my lashes today because um, I went on vacation with my eyelash curler and I came back on vacation with my eyelash curler. But you know the little squishy that's in between the curler that keeps your eyelashes from getting cut off? That is gone. So I can't really, ooh, not that. I can't really use that without the little squishy. So I came back without the squishy. I have no idea what the squishy is. Yeah, it did give it some volume. And yeah, it kind of spread them out a lot. And I wouldn't say like it made my lashes longer, but yeah, it did give it some volume. Um, I, I feel like, um, yeah, definitely like if you're on a budget, this is very nice. Oh my god, it's like. Whoa, can you focus on me? Hello. Thanks. Cool. Um, anyway, for a budget, I would definitely go with this mascara instead of like a Tarte or a MAC. Um, any other like bougie makeup brand mascara. I would definitely go for this one because it honestly did the same exact thing as my YSL does as um which one is this Laura Geller so I mean this did like the exact same thing and it's probably maybe half the price I'm gonna list everything down below every single product that I used and I'll definitely let you guys know like how much this was because it honestly did a really good job I am I'm impressed and the last thing that we have here is their Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray. And this is such a cute um, little spray bottle. Let's keep our eyes closed. Keep away from heat and flames. I always wondered what would happen. That'd be a cool makeup video. Not makeup video, but video. Anyway, we're going to try this out. I really I like, can't stop looking at the monitor. I really like how the lashes look. I'm impressed. So I'm gonna put some on. Mm. And I really like this because it looks like you can keep it in your bag. Oh my god. So when you spray, it like really goes out. I don't know, but my oh it smells so good. Mm. Um, my MAC spray, see for example, it like sprays like straight out, only hits like a portion of your face. This in one spray got my whole face and then some, so I was kind of scared when I put this on to be honest because like everywhere. But I mean one spray like that and maybe two, but you're good to go for the day. This you have to spray a couple times because it's only getting like one part of your face this was really good I like it and matte setting spray deal <laughs> thank you <laughs> um, I mean for no foundation I think my skin is doing pretty well today and that's the last of all our products in this cute little bag and I love how yeah I have a cute bag too so, new school pencil case, guys. And now I have new happy makeup. Today is a good day, if you don't stay my skin off. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of our video. There's no more products to test out today. So far, yes, I know I didn't get the whole Ulta Beauty collection. However, we did get a little sample of it and it's honestly not that bad, guys. It looks like a good investment so far. And you guys should definitely try it out because everything was so easy to use. It worked. Um, you know on the eyeshadow, like the pigment was there. No, it's not crazy like our high-end palettes, but it did the job, you know. It's a cute travel size. Everything in here, I feel like it's travel size and it's good to go. Like this whole bag, I would take and leave and I'll be so good on vacation. The highlight, um... <laughs> Let's say it's buildable because hopefully it is. It's it's cute. It's subtle. It's not crazy. Um, I know everyone doesn't want a crazy highlighter. Sometimes I don't even. And but then if I don't want a crazy highlighter, I'm just not gonna wear a highlighter. Like if I wear a highlighter, you're gonna see me from five blocks away. Um, other than that, I liked everything else in that bag. The brushes were great. Lipstick was um, one was tricky. One was amazing. So. I don't know what to say with the lipsticks, guys, because you guys know that the stick one worked amazing. But then the metallic one, like the color was there and it was so sunny. But then it was so aggravating to try to like fix it. And then even when you were trying to fix it, it wasn't working. So no go, guys. Like, ditch it. Done. <laughs> like, I have it now and... It's not one of those products where I have it and I'm going to use it, no. I'm um, having it's going to sit there forever until I throw it out. Um, maybe I'm going to try it on the eyes, but to be honest, guys, don't get it. Don't really, don't really don't get it. Sorry. That is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun. Don't forget to like and comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to go to Ulta and get these cute little products because they are definitely worth it. You know, the products that worked. Um, that's the tea for today. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye.